We're here with head coach Jack Owens after the 84-79 overtime win uh, over Bowling Green. And coach, outstanding ball game. A uh, little controversy there at the end of regulation, but you won your argument, and the guys really came through for you in a big time fashion. Yeah, just a gutsy win. You know, uh, you know, give give Mike and BG credit, man. They're they're, they're a good team. We knew it was going to be a hard fought game, but our guys just found the way. You know, it seemed like we had to win it twice, but. Uh, you know, the guys battled, you know, offensively we got on the flow there a little bit, but defensively we really locked in. I thought we did some really good things. You were down nine at the half after being back and forth, and, you know, you didn't allow them a field goal for over five minutes of that second half and really made a run, got back into the game. And I think those five minutes may have gone a long way to decide this ball game. Yeah, you know what? We've always talked about starting the game. Uh, finishing the half, starting the second half, and finishing the game, and then the guts of it, we just have to play really good basketball. But, but we, I thought we came out, uh, set the tone in the first five minutes of the second half, how we want to play. We were down nine, I believe we get, we scored eight points. It seemed like right away, and they would get some stops. So, just proud of the guys, the way we bowed, and the way we get this win. You know, everybody that played made a contribution of some sort. But I got to call out Delonte Brown uh, in that second half, 16 points just in the second half alone, then four in overtime and uh, double-digit rebounds really crashed the glass for you in that second half when you needed him. Yeah, just proud of him, man. He's playing at a high level. Uh, you know, the, the pace of the game, I can tell it slowed down for him. Uh, but, it, you know, he's a, he's a, you know, he wanted this win. You know, mm -hmm. and we've talked about it, what we needed to do. And, you know, uh, I have a group of guys who are not complaining about playing eight out of the last ten on the road. They're just coming in and competing and playing hard. Yeah, and you take a look at this team and how they came in here. You know, we talked on uh, Hawk Talk last night about giving them a day off to kind of rest. Right. I, I think it showed here tonight because uh, this was this was a gritty kind of grinded out kind of basketball game, very physical, and they let them play. Yeah, it, they did. And uh, you know what? During the guts of the first half, I thought, you know, our guys showed a little fatigue there, and I had to get some guys in and out. But then the second half, you know, we just talked about toughness over excuses, and we battled it out. And uh, I think the day off really benefit our guys because, you know, when you go on a stretch of playing four games in a week, it, it, it could take, take a toll on you. And I, I just knew Day Day was going to bounce back as well. Akron coming up on Friday, Coast final regular season game. They lost by two to Buffalo uh, earlier today. But, uh, again, another road game, another yeah. tough place to play, and another talented team. Yeah, you know, we look forward to it. I thought we had a great game at our place. And, you know, I think it's going to be another hard fall game. Our guys, we're going to we're gonna get our guys up for it, you know, but we're going to enjoy this win tonight. And I'll dive into Akron when I get home and first thing in the morning, and we'll come up with a plan uh, for practice. But other than that, we're, we're going we're gonna to get on the bus. We're going to go battle and, and let the chips fall where they may. But I like, I like how we're playing. Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.